Hello friends, uh, my name is Divyansh Gupta and uh, today I will uh, tell you my uh, journey of JE and uh, first of all I will tell you uh, who I am and where I am studying. I am Divyansh Gupta and uh, I am currently studying at IIT Patna and my JE rank is uh, 3677 in JE Advanced and uh, uh, I had prepared for uh, uh, JE uh, without uh, 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 without any coaching, only from YouTube. So uh, today I will tell you about my journey. Uh, I had prepared for my journey from 2022 to 2024. I had uh, completed my 10th uh, in 2022. And uh, uh, during that time, the Corona has arrived. So I was not able to prepare for the next six months. So I prepared my uh, JE preparation started from uh, November 2022 and from April to November I was just enjoying after completing my 10th uh, so I overall have only one and a half years to prepare for J. so in starting I was not that much intentional to prepare for J journey because uh, I I was not that much sure that I should do J or not so uh, my the luck was that my sister bought the JE package Fiji JE package during her preparation and that was uh, at my house so I started eventually reading it and I found it helpful to study it so I started uh, so I started reading it and uh, after that I uh, I found a YouTube channel where I study where I found a video of Samir sir where he was teaching permutation and combinations and uh, I uh, looked into it and found it uh, interesting so I started uh, uh, studying from YouTube and uh, the teachers that I followed was uh, Alexa, uh, Alexa for physics and Pankas sir for inorganic chemistry and uh, Samir sir for uh, uh, maths and uh, for uh, uh, other chemistry pa parts I follow Anupam Gupta sir on an academy and the tips that I should that I think I should give to you uh, during your preparation that you can use is uh, that uh, first of all you should give mock tests so mock test is the very important and crucial part of the JE journey uh, because I found that I had studied a lots of things during my preparation but I was not able to uh, uh, solve the problems when I give mock tests because I was not that much able to uh, keep myself in that environment when I was solving the problems. So I started giving mock tests from the January 2023 and till 2000, uh, till the end of 2023, I give mock tests every week. So uh, and the things that you should remember while giving the mock test is the first thing is that try to find out the problems that are able that you can solve. but you are not able to solve due to some silly mistakes that had happened because uh, when you are not that much uh, confident in your exam and you feel uh, you feel in hurry then there might be some problems that you are able to solve but not get solved during that time so try to find out those problems first and uh, do the uh, and try to find out the reasons why you are not able to solve them and why you do such silly mistakes Second thing is uh, try to look the problems that are not hard, but do you did not try to solve them during mock tests because this will give you huge confidence because you will get to know that problems are not hard, but they just look hard. Like if some problem is looking very big and uh, you think that this is hard because your mind makes some perception about that problem, but you are not able to solve it during that time. And when you look for your result and you try to check that problem you find that this was not a hard problem at all and the third thing is that when you complete some chapters like if you had completed the sets then you should make a one to two or two to three page short notes that chapter you finish and revise it for next two weeks after finishing your chapter because this will keep the chapters revised continuously in your mind and it make it perfect in your uh, make it uh, make it fit fitted in your mind and the most important things that uh, are important are is that j is not just for uh, checking hard work your what you are doing your hard work it is also checking your 
capability that you can how much you can fight back if you fail like if you are not able to solve some problems then how how much are it 